Hello Adele friends, this is your Humphreys. Glad to be with you and share with, with you a word from the Bible. I want to speak to you on the fact that one of the greatest things that you can do, I'm speaking to you as Christians, one of the greatest things that you can do as a Christian, of course if you're not a Christian, the greatest thing you can do is to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you do this by believing in Him and receiving Him as your Lord. By praying and asking Him to come into your heart and forgive your sins and help you, help you to live for Him. Believe in Him and you shall be saved forever. Call upon Him and let Him write your name in heaven. You'll be saved from hell and you'll have a home in heaven. Oh, praise God. And then there is another greatest thing you can do as a Christian. And it's found in Second Corinthians, uh, Second Thessalonians in the first chapter. And verse 11 and 12. Wherefore we pray for you that God would count you worthy of his calling and that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that you would hear this word and that if you are a Christian saved by grace you're born of God you belong to him. I want you to know that um, we, we need to pray that that you would that you would that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ would be glorified in you and you and Him. That's the greatest thing I think we can do as Christians: glorify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we do this we do this by looking to the Lord and believing in Him and let Him first of all be drawn to Him. Jesus said over in John six. Uh, no man can come to me except the Father draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. And so if you're a Christian, the Lord has drawn you to him. Hallelujah. And if you're not, and you feel a need right now and a desire, that's to, God's drawing you. That's the drawing of God. And he's calling you to him. Come to him and pray. And as a Christian, we need to often look to him and pray for strength and guidance. Because we belong to him now, we're born again. You're saved by grace. You're not the same person you used to be because you're now a child of God. And you belong to Him. And belonging to Him, you know you belong to one who will never fail. You belong to one who will go with you wherever you go. But you need to let Him bless your life. The Bible says in Second Corinthians in the 5th chapter, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. You see, if you're in Christ, you are born again and you are a new person. And there's nobody just like you. You are unique. No one else just like you. So don't try to be like somebody else. Just be yourself before God and ask the Lord to help you to deny yourself and follow Jesus. That's the best thing to do. And when you do that, you're, you're like a light shining in a dark world. The old world is dark with sin. And we need to shine as Christians in a dark world. The Bible says over in Matthew in the fifth chapter, Jesus said, You are the light of the world. A city that's set on a hill cannot be hid. You cannot hide a city set up on a hill. Nor can do men light a candle and put it under a bed, but they put it on a candlestick that it might give light to all that are in the house. And so don't hide your convictions. Don't hide the fact that you're a Christian. Don't hide the fact of your religion. Speak up for Jesus all and every time you can. Let people know that you belong to God. Let people know that you're a Christian and that you believe in Jesus. And he's the only one that can save us. The Bible says that your light so shine before men that others may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That, that's important. And we need to see that as important. Shining before men. Jesus went on to say, Think not that I have come uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, destroy the law, but no, I have come to fulfill the law. And so the Lord fulfilled that law that we could never fulfill. He kept it perfect. And He went to the cross and paid for our sins. He paid a debt that we could not pay. He paid a debt that he did not owe, but he did it because he loved you. He said, I'm the good shepherd, and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 
And so he died for you and me upon the cross and rose again to give us life and we'll be with him forever. Praise the Lord. Now this is something we need to recognize and let the light of God shine and try to glorify him. Try to glorify him. Jesus began his ministry hungry out there in the wilderness at the very beginning when he fasted and was tempted by the devil but he never did sin. But oh he is the bread of life. He ended his life, his earthly life upon the cross thirsty, crying out, I thirst, yet he is the water of life. Praise God. He was placed in a barred tomb, but praise God, he's reigning now upon a glorious throne in heaven. And so we need to see how important it is to believe in him. He paid it all so we could enjoy it all. He wept, and yet he dries and wipes away all tears. Praise the Lord. I thank God. He was homeless, and yet he's prepared for us mansions in heaven. Praise the Lord. The Lord God was sold for 30 pieces of silver, and yet he owns it all. What a Savior. What a Lord. What a God. He came down so that we could go up. Praise the Lord. And he lives forever, and he's waiting for you, and he wants to live in you, and he's living in you. It's Christ in you, the hope of glory. You Christians have Christ in you. Praise God. And he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He is there forever. To walk with you and talk with you and live with you forever. What a blessing. What a glorious blessing it is to know the Lord. To love him and to find his love for you. And to know, praise God, that this is what we need to do. The greatest thing we can do is that the name of the Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him. May the name of the Lord Jesus be glorified in us and we in him. That's so important. It is so important. Praise the Lord God. See, as Lewis says that praise, praise is what, what praise is, it's, it's the boasting of what you enjoy. Praise is boasting about what you enjoy. Now what do you really enjoy? I hope it's God. I hope it's Jesus. I hope you enjoy Him, the Lord of life, that loves you so much. And if it is, you're going to boast about Him. You're going to talk about Him and praise Him and seek to glorify Him. And so it's our prayer and my prayer that, that uh, the name of the Lord Jesus would be glorified in you and in me. Be glorified in us and we in him. And so this would be the greatest thing we could do is to somehow let the Holy Spirit direct us to glorify Jesus in our life. If people reject you, they're really rejecting Jesus. And when they receive you with love, they're really receiving Christ. It's Christ in you that's the important thing. So keep that first and foremost. Walk by faith and love the Lord. Forgive your enemies and love those that hurt you because God is with you. Look up and keep going because God's going with you. Don't turn back. Keep your eyes ahead. The Lord has great things for you. Stand up and the Lord stands with you. And go on because he's there. And seek. Seek always. Seek always to glorify the name of Jesus Christ in your life. Amen. God bless you. And Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen.